Mists of Pandaria, one of the most hated expansions to ever come to the world of Warcraft. Although the gameplay was good, the raids were good, the PvP was good, if you were a warrior, people just couldn't get over the fact that Mists of Pandaria had a Farmville simulator and pandas. They hated the pandas. But today, we're looking at the mounts you can farm from the raids, dungeons and rare spawns in Pandaria. My name is Noddy, remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and let's get into it. First, we're looking at Howlon in Timeless Isles. He is a rare spawn that can drop the thundering Onyx Cloud Serpent, but unlike any other world bosses, he is lootable every time you kill him. His respawn timer is roughly an hour, so you could kill him 24 times per day, theoretically. What makes this guy an annoying farm is that he doesn't have spawn protection and is often killed in one hit instantly. There are usually people farming him, so join the group to avoid fighting for the kill. Now let's give a shout out to the Zandalari Warbringers that spawn in 5 different zones in Pandaria. Here in Jade Forest, here in Kunlai Summit, here in Townlong Steps, here in Dread Wastes and here in Krasarang Wilds. According to the Google, they have a respawn time between 35 and 55 minutes. Each one has a high chance of dropping the primordial diehorns they are riding. The three colours are Jade, Slate and Amber. Now to Salis Warband, also known as Galleon, here in Valley of the Four Winds. He has a small chance of dropping Son of Galleon and can be farmed once per week on a single character. Has a respawn timer of between 10 and 20 minutes. If you're flying over Vale of Eternal Blossoms, be sure to stop by the Siege of Orgrimmar raid for a chance of getting the Corcron Juggernaut from Mythic Garrosh at the end. Just be sure to change the zone from the current zone to the old zone by talking to Zidomi at Moshugan Palace. And if you have absolutely no life, then you can spend the next few hours farming Sky Shards in Vale of Eternal Blossoms. And you can also watch my other videos on your second monitor. Sky Shards drop from any mob in the zone and you need 10 of them to combine them into a Sky Crystal to use on Alani, who is flying right above you, to get the thundering Ruby Cloud Serpent. Or you can purchase the mount from the auction house for about 15k gold, that's the easier way. The Shore of Anger here in Kunlai Summit, similar to Salis Warband, has a short respawn timer between 10 and 20 minutes and can drop the Heavenly Onyx Cloud Serpent. After you kill the Shore, you may as well go into Mogosham Vaults and the second to last boss is Eligon. He has a chance of dropping the Astral Cloud Serpent and it's farmable once per week per character, has about a 1% drop chance. Next I'm going to talk about the Isle of Thunder. Outside of the Throne of Thunder is a world boss called Nalak. Has a small chance of dropping the Thundering Cobalt Cloud Serpent and has the same 10 to 20 minute respawn timer as the other world bosses. Now you can go inside the Throne of Thunder and there's two mounts you can obtain here. The first one is from Horridon, drops the spawn of Horridon about 1% of the time. And then G-Kun can drop the clutch of G-Kun around 1% of the time as well. If you don't get it, it's not the end of the world, just don't be like this guy. Alright, let me get the mount. HOLY SHIT! HOLY FUCK DUDE! WHAT THE FUCK?! OH MY FUCK! God, dude! Holy shit! What the fuck? Oh my god, dude! Who wins? What? Sappy on Ragnaros? Who the fuck is that? Don't you learn it? No! He fucking learned it! No! And last but not least is the Isle of Giants above Kunlai Summit. I kept this till last because I wanted to talk about it a bit. 
There are five mounts you can get from this island, but first let's talk about Undaste, the world boss. He spawns in the middle of the island, he has a respawn timer between 10 and 20 minutes. He has a small chance of dropping the Cobalt Primordial Direhorn. The other mounts come from killing the mobs around, you occasionally get a primal egg from the mobs that take three days to hatch into a random colour raptor mount, black, green and red. The eggs are unique, but they drop quite often. You can farm for them on other characters to get them quicker, but the mounts that come out is random. You could get all three colours from your first three eggs, or you can get three of the same colour. And the last mount is the Bone White Raptor, earned by trading in 9,999 dinosaur bones to a creepy guy in a cave on the Isle of Giants. Bones drop from all mobs. I have a farming video on this, I'll link in the top corner now and also in the description. It takes about an hour and a half to get all of the bones needed. If you can't be asked farming, then you can buy them from the auction house. And that's all of the, the mounts that drop. So, good luck with the farming. Comment below what your favourite mount is from Mr. Pandaria. And thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.